In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a rational equation that simplifies to quadratic, factorable quadratic denominator. We're solving this equation for V. We may have one solution, multiple solutions, or no solution. So once I have potential solutions, I'll need to come back and check to make sure that I don't end up with a solution that gives me a zero denominator. And to solve, I want to first rewrite this. But as I'm rewriting, I want to factor these denominators as much as possible. And this denominator is the difference of two squares. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that as a v plus 3 times v minus 3. The rest of the denominators are already as factored as possible. And from here, now that everything is factored in the denominator, I can identify the lowest common denominator. It will have to have a v3, a v plus 3. It will also need a v minus 3. And the middle denominator has both, but we already have both. So this is our lowest common denominator, v plus 3 times v minus 3. And with that lowest common denominator, I can multiply every term on the left-hand side and every term on the right-hand side by the lowest common denominator, and that will cancel out all of these denominators for me. So we will multiply here by v plus 3, v minus 3. We'll want to multiply this one by v plus 3, v minus 3, and this term by v plus 3, v minus 3. And this is where all the canceling happens that gets rid of these denominators. Canceling the v plus 3's, I'm left with v times v minus 3. In this term, both factors in the denominator cancel, leaving me with just the numerator, v plus 17. And here, the v minus 3's cancel, so I have a minus 5 times the v plus 3 in the numerator. Again, much easier to solve from here without any of those fractions. I can start to simplify by distributing to get rid of these parentheses. v times v is v squared. v times minus 3, a minus 3v. And then on the right-hand side, I need to distribute this negative 5 times v as a negative 5v, and negative 5 times 3 as a minus 15. So no more parentheses. I have some like terms I can combine on the right hand side. So v minus a 5v combines to a minus 4v plus 17 minus 15 combined to be a plus 2. And from here I know I'm going to end up with a quadratic because I have this v squared term. So I'm going to want to set this equal to zero, and I can do so by moving all of the terms on the right-hand side over to the left, so adding 4v to both sides, and subtracting 2 from both sides. Cancels everything on the right, leaving me zero, and on the left I have the v squared, again combining like terms, minus 3v plus 4v, is a plus 1v, and then bringing down that minus 2, this gives me a quadratic that I can factor on the right. The only possibility for v squared is v and v. The only possibility for a 2 is 1 and 2. To multiply to get a negative 2, they would have to be different signs, and since I want a positive 1, I'll make that a positive 2 and a negative 1. And now that we factored, these two multiply to be zero, meaning that either the first is equal to zero or the second is equal to zero. Solving each for v, I have v equals one, or solving for v in the second, v equals a negative two. So two potential solutions, v can be one or negative two, this is where we should look back at our original to make sure that plugging those values in do not give us a zero in the denominator. 
and neither a 1 nor a negative 2 gives us a 0 here. So both of these are solutions. Writing them separated by a comma, our solutions are 1 and negative 2.